way of have 48 first alert weather day sponsored by mr electric your area expert for home generac generators 48's umbrella a week giveaway is sponsored by mr Ruder, your locally owned expert plumbers for over 34 years well, it looks like we hit 101 degrees today in Huntsville. Now, you hit 102 yesterday in Muscle Shoals, but that was a degree shy of a record high today in Huntsville. And I'm looking at the data. It looks like it's probably the hottest day temperature-wise, not the feels-like-wise, but the hottest day temperature-wise in Huntsville in 12 years. I find that hard to believe, but it looks like that's accurate because a lot of times uh, we're kept talking about the heat index, what it really feels like, and it has been feeling hotter than that. But again, dangerous day to be outdoors without any water or shade or protection from the sun. And it's still 95 in Huntsville, 100 in Athens, and you're creeping back up into the 90s after the rain cool breeze you got earlier. But uh, Haleyville is just kind of on an island, aren't they? 79. It's because they've had more rain down there. Decatur looking good. Uh, Good night for a cruise. 95 degrees. I don't think they'll have any issues with big thunderstorms tonight along the river, but there are thunderstorms here just north of the Tennessee River. They're just stationary. This is where the drought is the worst. You get from here up to the north, but everybody's really dry out here in Lauderdale County, Colbert County, and there's some areas in between that haven't had any significant rain, and there's nothing really uh, pressing. Maybe over here, you know, Woodville and Gurley, a little shower trying to make it. But again, you can keep an eye on our 48 first alert weather app this evening and track any of those showers that uh, develop. I think most of them will fade away tonight. Fast forward to Friday. Friday morning, we start off in the 60s, 63, the cool spot there in Scottsboro, probably some low 60s there in the Paint Rock Valley too, and up in the holler there in northern Madison County. As we get on going here, get, get the day going, uh, you see isolated showers and storms. These are the hardest for the model guidance to predict, but I will say it did a pretty good job yesterday yesterday of depicting where the best chance is going to be. Now the problem we have tomorrow is the upper level low that's been producing the storms off to the southwest part of the viewing area today. That kind of drifts westward and takes the better chances with it, although we're going to keep the chance there. Notice temperatures a little bit cooler tomorrow, but we're still talking 90s. And don't be surprised if we hit 98 degrees again because model guidance has been off a little bit on some of these high temperatures, uh, thinking we're going to get more rain. By 7 o'clock Friday night, just in time for Friday night lights out there, we're looking good going up on this uh, holiday weekend too. Each and every day pre presents a new challenge forecast wise. We're going to have periods of showers and thunderstorms 94 Saturday. The trend though is for cooler air quote cooler temperatures. I know you want those 80s back and a 10 day forecast. They're showing up going to have to wait though. We're seeing some adjustments. There's two fronts coming in. The first one is going to be real subtle and slow moving. Could see some isolated showers and storms along it. And I know you're getting your hopes up seeing a chance of rain and that's really what it is. A chance of rain and it's not all that great each and every day. Some of you may not see rain for another four or five days. And then as we get into next weekend, we're really starting to watch the drier air come back in. So I would say a week from Labor Day, high temperatures, upper 70s, low 80s, overnight lows, low to mid 50s. So it's still possible. But again, always difficult timing that first big push of fall air that sticks around for a few days. And that's what we're trying to do.